I've been stockpiling stuff for projects and so I've got a lot of mail that came in all at once. Got six packages here, one that's not electronics related. Let's get started. I'm gonna start with this big boy here. Um, this one, March 28th ordered, April 14th arrived, $89. Now, I'm starting a large project that will cost way more than that, but the final product should cost a fraction of what a commercial solution is. So those of you that are close to me, maybe my Patreons, uh, you'll know what this is for. But for those of you who aren't, um, you're going to have to wait a little bit. So here it goes. I especially wanted to open this ASAP so I can uh, open a claim if it doesn't work. This. Uh, oh, that's shiny. This is a uh, massive 1200 watt power supply. So it's a AC to DC converter. Obviously there's some little bit of shipping damage there. This thing is mirrored to hell, but uh, yeah. So this is a 24 volts out at 1200 watts. So uh, it should just about max out a domestic plug here in uh, Kanukistan. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to rig something because I don't have any loose uh, flex cables. I'm gonna have to rig something to plug this in. Bring you back when that's done. Never mind, I went and I stole a flex from uh, something else. So yeah, here it is. You can actually see all my uh, studio lights I still haven't replaced with uh, these panels yet. You know, been sick for a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's just plug this in and uh, hopefully it doesn't blow up. Oh wait. Also got to check that the uh, switch is correct on the side. Oh, it is not. Have to move this over 115. There we go. You do have the potential to uh, damage your stuff. I don't know if uh, this way, North America, or the other way, it doesn't matter. Contact. Okay, made some sort of clicking. Um, first of all, just gonna check continuity to Earth. Okay, case is Earth, that's good. Um, let's check voltage now. So, uh, DC volts. Not sure which side is the positive, which side is the negative. So the negative is the first couple ones here. So that's negative here. Should be positive over here. Yeah, 24 volts, pretty well trimmed in. That's pretty good. There's a voltage adjust uh, pot right down there. Um, but I think 24 volts is just fine. So now let's, uh, let's pull a load. All right, so I've got my electronic load uh, set up here. It can only pull 500 watts in uh, constant power. Um, if I just go ramp up the current, it can do um, 600 watts, but that's okay. We're gonna leave something for the actual testing video. Uh, so you cannot see this screen, unfortunately, so I'll just read it off to you. Um, this is one thing I don't like about this um, electronic load is the screen is garbage. I mean, it's good for my eyes, not good for YouTube. And here it goes. Pulling 500 watts, that's uh, 20 amps at uh, 24 volts. The voltage is sagging a tiny bit, 23.9, but that's why we can twiddle that pot, bring it up a little bit. But that seems to be working just fine. So I think what I'll do for the full review of this is I'll pop this 600 watt um, load and I'll use my 100 and, was it 100 or 150 watt? load and I'll put both of them together and that's as good as I'm gonna get I'm not gonna get up to the uh, you know rated 1200 watts unfortunately next one up is this one here a little bit expensive as well 2245 but wait till you see how much stuff is in here uh, March 21st ordered April 14th arrived most of the stuff arrived April 14th uh, and that's simply because they combine shipping often now on uh, AliExpress and if you only order one or two things they'll even they'll, they'll wait and see if you're gonna order more So 
So you guys might have seen that I've made a project uh, recently using uh, these 18650 holders. Well, I believe now is going to be time to make a battery pack out of 18650s. So I ordered 30 18650 holders. Um, 8, 10, 6, 10, and 10, yep. So I got 30 of these. Um, they're going to be used for individual pro projects, but also for, um, you know, a battery pack. And I feel like, you know, having something useful done with these things. So I'm going to see if we can do maybe some solar collection. Can maybe uh, charge 18650s using the sun or something like that. I'll figure it out. But uh, yeah, for now, 30 of these, they were less than a dollar each. So that's pretty good with the shipping. Uh, in fact, they're about 80 cents each or something like that. So pretty decent, and I already made a footprint for them, so all I have to do is, um, yeah, put them on a PCB, and we're going to be good to go. Nothing too exciting to see here, but I'm really glad to have these in hand. This next one here goes with the power supply project, so maybe this will give you more hints. Um, March 28th to March uh, to April 14th, well, wow, I really wrote that terribly, $7.14 on this one. And so this here is a motor driver, but I'll have to give you a little bit of a closer look. So this here is a high current motor driver. Uh, it claims uh, 43 amps of motor driving. And this goes along with the power supply, so maybe you have a little bit of an idea where I'm going with this. It's got this massive heatsink on the back, which we can replace with an even bigger one if we want to. Um, but yeah, it's based on these uh, BTS 7960 um, H-Bridge modules, I guess. And so, yeah, this thing is going to be interesting to use. Uh, all the pins are kind of knackered here, but I can fix those. It's not a problem. But yeah, this is a very cheap. Uh, in fact, I've also ordered some MOSFETs to make my own motor driver, like a discrete motor driver. Um, but the MOSFETs are costing me more than this module so you have to kind of wonder at what point having fun is uh, going to be more expensive than just buying the pre-made thing but either way I will probably still make it as a um, learning experience and this might end up in the final project or maybe my other one will who knows but uh, yeah high current mo motor driving um, just to give you an example the motor I want is like this big it's a, it's a big boy, that's why I need a 1200 watt power supply and a 43 amp uh, motor controller. So stay tuned for that, make sure you're subscribed. Just leaving you zoomed in for this one here, uh, $4.37, uh, March 21st, April 14th arrived. Should be very few things in here, yeah, very few. So these, they look like three millimeter LEDs. But are they? Well, they are and they aren't. Um, these are what's called a photodiode. So it, I believe it would work like an infrared LED if you put power to it. I might try that on a different video. I don't, I kind of don't want to ruin them before I've researched them. Um, but mainly what they're used for is detecting light. So if anything, they're like the opposite of an LED. So I do have studio lights here, which are fairly bright, I would say. So let's take a look if we can capture any DC voltage off this uh, photodiode. Not really. Hmm. 
they're supposed to be photodiodes. Let's see if they just change their resistance based on the luminosity. Oh, they do. Well, I did not know that. I thought they would just be using voltage. Yeah, if I hide it underneath here, it's 13k ohms. But if I put it out in the light, it is nearly a meg ohm. Well, that's interesting. Huh. The interior looks pretty cool, too. Another one for the small parts catalog here. Um, and this is the last electronic part, so if you don't want to see any more electronics, uh, you can bounce after this one. Uh, 5030 LED. I kind of um, prefer when they don't tell you what's on there. But uh, March 28th to April 13th, $33.45. And these are exactly the same LEDs I got last time and built these boards out of. I uh, am having a blast soldering SMD with stencil and paste, uh, especially when I think the old guard make it sound more difficult than it actually is. Um, but yeah, so last time I ordered 100, um, this time I ordered 500 because I think I'm going to slowly retrofit my whole shop uh, with these LEDs running them a lot cooler uh, than they were before. So like for example, I'll probably remake another panel like this with double the amount of LEDs uh, or maybe even triple because at the rate that they're giving off light, they give off quite a bit of light, um, but they're running cool. So I can easily fit double or triple the amount of LEDs on here. They'll run super cool and I'll increase my brightness by adding more density. So that's kind of the goal. Um, if you want to uh, join along. Now you don't need to buy these 5630s if you want to use my boards. These are high CRI. That's why they're so expensive, right? 500 for $33. Um, that's pretty expensive. Um, but if you use the regular non-high CRI ones, they're like half that price or a little bit less even. So yeah, these boards, so these ones that I've designed that you can go uh, check out the video for, you don't even need to get them done on aluminum. You can get them done on, um, you know, regular fiberglass PCBs. But the ones where I put triple the amount of LEDs, it's very likely going to require um, an aluminum backed PCB like this. And now for the non electronics uh, part. So that's this one. March 21st arrived April 14th, $10.49. So each item in here is half that price because there's two. And this is these are some nail clippers. So nail clippers, one of those things that um, my wife and I have had cheapo ones forever, and they are terrible. They suck. You got to throw them out all the time because they break. Um, these I was looking on Ali and it looks like the construction is much nicer because uh, if you can see it's kind of like each piece is one solid piece and there's a pin through it and they're supposed to be very sharp certainly seems like it and um, yeah they have a little springy here there we go um, so I'm hoping these are better because what happened is I bought myself a better pair of um, clippers after I stopped chewing my nails that was a couple years ago and um, I you know I was looking for another one for my wife and I actually couldn't find one uh, where I where they were sold they weren't sold anymore and then basically she's been using our crappy ones uh, and I've been using the good ones and I broke the good ones so yeah, now got nail clippers, each one, one for me, one for her, and we'll see if these things last. I will give it a test cut uh, after sanitizing them off camera because some people find that really disgusting. I don't blame them. So I'll uh, do a test cut 
I'll bring you back after. Test cuts done after sanitizing in um, rubbing alcohol. They work really well. So I'll be handing uh, one over to my wife and um, we're going to be doing some long-term testing, but not purposeful testing, just seeing how they last. And so these items make up today's mailbag. Um, I want to thank my Patreon patrons for, um, you know, supporting me. Uh, it means I can count on a little bit of income, even when everything turns to, to poop. Um, also, um, my sponsors have been quite nice and allowing me to make cool projects, basically. So that's what uh, this, this, and these two, and this will be for, actually. Just ordering stuff for projects at the moment. So that's pretty neat. So I want to thank everyone who is watching, uh, who is subscribed, who is commenting, um, but especially, you know, thank you to the Patreons going that extra mile. Thanks for watching.